It's a new year, but it's still Patch Tuesday, which means it's time for the Patch Report. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Patch Report for January of 2024. Happy New Year. It is a new year, but it's the same type of Patch Tuesday. I'm Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative and our Chief Patch Wrangler. We don't have a whole lot to talk about this month. Very small release, but uh, it's a welcome relief uh, for the beginning of the year. And let's get into it, starting with Adobe, who had a monstrous one patch. That's right, one patch, six CVEs and Substance 3D Stager, all of them important rated. Uh, all of them require user interaction. Nothing too exciting. Moving on to Microsoft, we've got 49 new CVEs being addressed this week, uh, this month, excuse me, only two of which are critical, um, 12 RCEs. But uh, let's start by talking about a security feature bypass vulnerability in Kerberos. Uh, it's the highest rated CVSS this month at nine, and it's one of the two critical patches. It does require a machine in the middle attacker, uh, but once you set that up, you could potentially decrypt uh, Kerberos. Uh, you could get a Kerberos ticket issued that would be invalid or, or spoofed or something like that. So uh, yeah, Microsoft also gives us an exploit index of one, which is their highest rating. Uh, which means they expect to see exploits within 30 days. I kind of doubt that a little. We don't see a lot of Kerberos attacks, especially man in the middle, machine in the middle, whatever monkey in the middle, whatever we want to call it. But do take it seriously and go ahead and patch. The next one is for Hyper-V, and it's a remote code execution vulnerability. Um, although remote in this case really means network adjacent. They don't provide much description beyond that, but uh, it essentially, they, they do note that it requires no user interaction or uh, no authentication. So pre-auth, no user interaction could be really interesting. Uh, I, I would ac actually expect to see this one exploited more than I would see the Kerberos one, but I really don't expect to see either of these exploited in the wild, quite frankly. And this last one here, I'm not gonna read that whole title because it's a gigantic mouthful of a mess, but it's another security feature bypass and another machine in the middle sort of attack for uh, uh, attackers. So in this case, you would be decrypting TLS traffic. Now, Microsoft did uh, put out another article. I'll link to it in the show notes that says you have to do additional steps. If you are using these uh, these these items, uh, uh, you'll need to do additional step. You need to use data providers. That's what they are, data providers, not items. If you're using the data providers, you need additional NuGet packages, and there's a, a full article on how to use these data providers and still stay safe. So definitely check that out. Moving through all of the other CVEs that were released, um, just, just not a ton that's really exciting. There are a couple in the RCE that I, I do want to call out. In one is in Office, and normally Office is just open and own. But in this case, they did the unusual step of actually removing the ability of Office uh, to open FBX files, which is uh, 3D models. And uh, yeah, so there are some additional details on that uh, that I've linked to as well. And if you are running the uh, printer metadata troubleshooter, you might have already installed a tool to correct that. They say you don't need to apply the patch. If you've installed the tool, I say apply the patch because it's a lot easier to accidentally remove a tool than it is to remove a patch. So stay safe out there uh, and, and make sure that that's, uh, that's taken care of. There is a RCE in the RDP client, client, not server. So much less exciting on that. Uh, there's only a few elevation of privilege bugs and almost all of them just lead to system. Uh, the lone exception is a virtual hard disk and it just gives you that privileges. There's some information disclosure bugs, but most only dump uh, random memory. The two exceptions are one in LSAS, which could allow an attacker to, I mean, it's LSAS, you're going to get network secrets, right? Uh, when connecting to an Active Directory domain controller. Um, and this could be done either through sniffing network traffic or running a malicious script. Uh, it would probably occur um, as an escalation attack, that sort of thing. There's a TCP bug as well. And again, it's a machine in the middle but it could lead to uh, unencrypted contents of IPsec. That's interesting, uh, but again, not very likely. Um, there's a couple other security feature bypass bugs. 
uh, mostly that are decrypting uh, traffic in .NET. It's looking at uh, making X.509 certificates that are uh, improperly validated. And that's similar to the Windows key distribution service, uh, the hypervisor protected code integrity. Uh, it, this is interesting because it's only affecting Microsoft Surface devices. So whatever specific hardware is on those Surface devices, you check the bulletins for the specific surfaces uh, that are impacted. But it could allow you to just change the uh, executable, read, write, execute, um, you know, on certain bugs or certain files. Uh, and there's a BitLocker bypass, which means you can bypass BitLocker. One job, BitLocker. That's all we needed. A couple of denial of service bugs, uh, nothing exciting. And then four spoofing bugs, nothing exciting there either. And folks, that is the release. Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. No zero days, nothing under active attack, nothing out there in the wild going bump in the night. That wasn't there already. So please like and subscribe. I'm contractually bound by YouTube to say that. Uh, also, if you happen to be in Tokyo, please come by and see us for Pondo and Automotive. Headed to Tokyo this weekend, and it should be uh, an amazing show, some really cool research. So until then, I hope to see you out there. I uh, Just stop by and say hello. I like it when people say hello. And until then, stay safe, and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.